Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a sneak peek of a new series coming to the channel, Daddy's Gaming Adventures. We're going to be taking a look at Pikmin 3 Deluxe, which is coming out to Nintendo Switch on October 30th, and they've released a demo to give us a preview of the game. So this is a port of the game Pikmin 3 that originally came out on the Wii U, and they've added some content to it and all the DLC and all that stuff. So we're going to take a look at this demo version and see what we got. Thanks so much for being here. If you guys are enjoying uh, the channel and want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that like button. Alright, so we've got the story mode, collect food and save Kapai from danger. Story of the, the big adventure with Pikmin. Uh, there's the Nintendo eShop icon if you want to buy the full game. Mission, take a challenge and aim for a medal. The more you play, the better you'll be at planning. One of the new things is the side stories. Meanwhile, a certain duo is hard at work on an important mission, unlocked after a certain point in the story mode, and the bingo battle. Collect fruits and creatures in a bingo battle. Two players are needed. So they have some local co-op and... Do you think that we could, I don't know, do something like go for a drive or something fall related or like sure. like get out of the house? Okay. <laughs> yeah, Because I, I will be done with my class and I have like a week off. So the idea of, if it's long as the weather is cooperative, like yeah. doing something that gets us out of the house and mm -hmm. we enjoy the fallness of fall because it's my favorite season. Yeah. Alright, I'm going back upstairs to continue work on my thing. I took a little bit of a nap. I put that chicken in because I think I'm going to make the enchiladas for dinner. Okay. There is some um, two-player local, and I think there's like an online mode. I think that's what this bingo battle is. Not sure though, but um, you can play the first couple of days of the story mode, and they did say any content you play in the demo will carry over to the full version of the game, which I really like that. I'm a big fan of those... Uh, Give us a demo, let us try the game and play it out before we purchase, and give us the ability to carry over progress to the full version, which is awesome. Alright, so you can play with one or two players. We're going to do one player here. Do a new, so there's normal difficulty, sweet and frothy difficulty suited for any fan of the series, but especially beginners. There's a hard mode, advanced players might save with the sour tang of challenge of this difficulty. And there's an ultra spicy mode, unlocked when you clear the hard difficulty. So, we're going to play normal here, but for those of you that want a challenge, uh, there's definitely some uh, stuff in here for that also, which is great. The plant's name, Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a lack of basic plan, basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with editable matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called Spheros out into space. To their dismay, their search is proving fruitless. <laughs> 
just as they're about to give up. The final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. A positive result. They mobilized to investigate the planet, which they named PNF-404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. At last, the explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. That's pretty far from their home. But as they initiate their landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Last thing I remember was. Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Charlie the ship. Charlie the ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? Oh. Captain Charlie. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. Moving. Move with L. So, a little tutorial here at the beginning of the game. Hints. If you get stuck in story mode, press the up arrow to view a strategy hint. You can hide them by going to more in other settings and setting the hint display to off. Press plus to open options and view basic information, or go to other settings to change controls to your liking. Okay, that's cool. So there is some uh, control procedure, since this game was ported from something we used the touchpad with on the Wii U. Alright. Huh? What in the... This little Pikmin. There are more of them. So I got a little hint, and just to keep moving ahead. Great, that, that's very helpful. And there's like little arrows that show you which direction to go in. So if you ever get lost, that is uh, pretty good. These planet's mushrooms are huge. Whoa. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? My whistle will scare them off. I'm surrounded. Maybe I should throw them. Get away from me. No. I can't let it end like this. So we're getting some practice throwing the little guys. Maybe I should throw them. They don't appear hostile. So, let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B, and throw them with A. Using the whistle. Press B to blow the whistle and call Pikmin over. Hold B longer to increase the whistle's range. Throwing. Take aim with the L and press A to throw. Maybe these fellows can be of some use. Then we can throw them, and then we got our path is blocked. Right, that's how it's done. Yeah, get rid of those mushrooms. 
mushrooms. Okay. I should look around for my crew. Oh. It's R to check my surroundings. Pressing ZL will let me see what's in front of me. I got some more hanging around down there. What enormous mushrooms. So, have you guys played any of the, either of the first two games, or maybe you played this on the Wii U when it originally came out? These guys sure are dedicated. Moving on. Okay. What are those? They look dangerous. Wow, that's bright. This light is chasing away. that oh no exploration day one 8 46 a.m so this game is organized into days oh okay so i guess that other story is to be continued and here's our little spaceship crashing down It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Alf. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. And oh, what do we got over here? What was that? Let me go follow this little guy. It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. And what's that stuck in that branch? Is there anything I can do? I'll press ZR to lock on to something. Just need to throw it. There we go. I was hoping that it was fruit. But it doesn't appear to be editable at all. Nevertheless, the red fellow seem quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing... Looking around. Face forward with ZL and look around with R. R won't work if the Joy-Con is held sideways. That's a good tip if you're playing this with a uh, Joy-Con. Hey, they're following me. Oh, I see. What is this pile of rubble? I see another one over there. So, these guys, if I throw them on the pile of rubble, they will be able to carry materials. Oh, uh, no, you too, buddy. Go grab one. They'll be able to carry materials that we need to finish this bridge off. Kind of like having your own little command army to do different tasks for you. And once they get started, as you'll notice here, once they get started, they will keep going. So they know, let's go back for more. This is our task right now. Mm 
bridge is coming along pretty decent. The bridge is almost built. Now he's going, he doesn't see anymore. He's like, uh, what am I supposed to do? Bridge completed. Wonderful. The bridge is complete. Alright, come over here, you guys. My copad. Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. Alf, oh, map data loading. Great, it still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from Copayite Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. Using the radar number one, use L to check your surroundings. Where's the Drake? I should follow that signal. Signal's coming from over here. Ah, that SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. Now we can start exploring with the help of the copad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. Using the camera. Activate the camera by the minus sign. Copad. Snap photo. All right. A to activate the camera. Focus in. Okay. ZR, take a picture. Photos will be displayed on the world map. Alright, cool. Now, if we go back to the map. Photo. Okay. Alright. Cool. So, first thing we want to do here is these little pellets. Well, it sh the numbers show us how many Pikmin it takes to carry them, but we want to start building up our reinforcements. Is that red thing food? Kind of, but not really. Ah. We need to develop reinforcements and grow additional Pikmin. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. Alright, there's some trouble over here, so I'm gonna go back. We'll get that fourth one in a second. Oh, ate a pluck of them. Red Pikmin. -da -da -da. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredible fla how incredibly fascinating. Plucking number one. Press A to pluck nearby Pikmin sprouts, press B to cancel. One thing I like in this game, that see, I don't have to press the A button for everyone. Once I start it and until I press cancel, he will continue to pluck the rest of them. Which is a nice, nice thing there. Alright. There's a number 20 on there, so that takes 20 of them to... Alright. These guys aren't too difficult. And somebody can take this one. And then I think I have five guys. So this one. Wow, this one is huge. Black on one ZR and aim. Yeah, so that's going to take five of these guys to carry it back. But it will also generate five new Pikmin. Thought I saw something there. Alright, we'll start to pluck these guys. And even though it only takes five, you can, if you have more, obviously it'll be easier to carry and they can carry it faster. Pluck the new guys. Oh, 
All right, very good. Okay, so now we've got 21, which is perfect, because we need 20 for this. What is this enormous thing? The Drake must be somewhere on the other side of it. And if we press X, we can kind of send them in a charging motion in order to move the object or do whatever the task is. Hey, there's something. What's that? It looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. Pikminology number one. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. All right. Excellent. The copad can read the data file. Some of these creatures are called Pikmin. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it here in the copad's exploration notes. We're installing a new app on our copad. Exploration notes. Okay. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. So who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? So let's take a look at this real quick. Okay, so exploration notes, Pikmin behavior. Okay, so this is just kind of saving all of the data cards that we collect on our journey. And if we need reminders about something, we can always do that. According to the radar, the drake should be through here. Alright, that doesn't do anything. Alright. Here's another one. Using the radar number two. Change the radar's orientation and other settings in the options menu. Okay. Wow, those are massive, but they don't look edible. Indeed, they are not. Clear out these mushrooms in our path. Speaking of blocking the path. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? Now would be a good time to press X to perform a charge attack. There we go. 21 of them at a time. Break down this wall pretty easily. Alright, good job. My crew can learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. <laughs> it's funny. I hope the Drake is okay. There it is. There it is. The SS Drake. The Copan isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? See my call. Coming transmission. Who could it be? Elf! It's me, Brittany! Do you copy? Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starve. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Board the ship there, buddy. Now, it's weird that the Pikmin all just disappeared. But I'm assuming they went back to their home, the Onion. Hopefully this will make sense in the next, the next segment. Okay, yeah, so the Pikmin went back to the Onion, and the Onion took off in the space with us, even though we didn't see any of that. 
taking place, which is interesting. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. We get two, because we just ate one. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Okay, so that was day one. Using the radar number three. Review your replay with the replay button to fine tune your strategy. Oh, okay, so let's take a look at what we got here. So we've got Alf, we got zero fruits, two provisions left, we got 21 Pikmin, and we didn't lose any of them because nothing really happened. Okay, let's check out this replay button here. Okay, this is kind of cool. I like this feature, yeah. Kind of retrace your steps and see how how you did on the map. Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch has this um, like Hero's Path feature. And this kind of reminds me of that. We got our guys, they're carrying the five back to the ship. Then we fuck them, get them all up. Then they move the box. We went into the little cave. Destroyed all the mushrooms and the little dots are where we did the Pikmin. Broke down the wall and we made it to the ship. Okay, I like that. So we're gonna make use of that feature. What do you, what do you think of that? All right. Day one's journal. We shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I've made contact with Brittany and we'll set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off on the ship, the onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Saving. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this first episode. We'll continue to play through the rest of the demo, so make sure you stay tuned for that. If you're enjoying the series and want to see more once the full game comes out, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and feel free to leave a comment below. What is your gaming experiences with Pikmin games or this game in particular in the past? Uh, if you're leaving comments, make sure no, no spoilers. We're playing through here. And, um, yeah, hit the notification bell so that you're made aware of when new episodes are posted. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Daddy's Gaming Adventures, Pikmin 3 Deluxe.